This is Rohit Mehra, the green man of India. Along with his wife Gitanjali, he has made it his mission to rescue plants and trees. He loves them so much that he has opened a plant and tree hospital. Besides opening this unique plant and tree hospital, he also has planted mini forests, 500 vertical gardens, and he even holds a Limca record for the largest vertical garden in the country. So, Dolly, these are vertical gardens. I think I have seen some in Delhi, Mumbai. You've done that? Yeah, we have done in whole of the country. Hello? Yes? Okay. Okay, we are coming. We have an emergency. Uh, there's a plant which is dying. Okay, okay. But you're a superhero, so you must have like a bad mo no, a green mobile or a plant mobile. We have a plant ambulance. I will show you. Come. So Dolly, this is another plant which is saved. Now this plant has its friends to accompany them and also to protect it. So well, we have... We managed to save another life. Yeah. yeah. I, I helped a little bit. Okay. So A lot. Okay, I did that. Mm -hmm. But what is this place? Oh, this is another forest created by us. Come, I'll show you. You have created it. Yeah. Wow, this, this forest is amazing. I can't believe you've done that. It's, you know, nothing short of having a little superpower. How long did it take you for to make this? It took us two years to make this forest. Two years? Two years. And how many such forests have you made? We have created close to 375 forests in whole of the country. 375 forests? Like this. You and your wife alone have managed to do something super incredible. It is not we who, who have made it, we both, rather it is everybody's duty. So we have a team. Let me give you a surprise to sh show me my team. A surprise? See this. Oh, just look at these children hugging trees. It's so cute and so cool. I think the green man's superpowers are really working. But what is his origin story? How did he come up with the idea of a plant and tree hospital? The health of human being as well as the planet is the health and well-being of the plants. So we have the hospitals for the animals, for fishes, for human beings, for even crops. But we didn't find any hospital for tea and plants. So that is how the idea came, popped up. Uh, okay, so this is your operation theatre, as you would call it, and this is your, you know, table for the operation. What is this room? There's so many things I see. Uh, see, this is um, uh, the part of plant and tree hospital. Yeah. Uh, we have bioenzymes here, we have seed balls here. So we have various kind of nature-based medicines yeah. like the Brahmastra, uh, then this decomposer, then nemastra, how to treat pests, how to treat chemicals, every kind of things are there. Sir, this is going to be a silly question, but of course I understand a little bit about humans and you know how we get sick. But how do plants get sick and what kind of diseases do they have? Uh, plants are exactly like human beings. They have physical, biochemical. In some cultures, it is believed that plants have emotions too. For example, in the Solomon Islands, instead of cutting down trees, the tribal inhabitants sit around the tree and curse it for a long time till the tree's emotions are hurt and it eventually dies. So now we know what kind of problems a plant can have. But what about the solutions? Where do they come from? If plants are infected with, let's say, millibugs, so we can spray neem oil. That can be a biopesticide for control of diseases. If they are attacked by termites, we can use jaggery. In layman language, we call jaggery as good. All the termites will be taken up by that and the plant will be free of those termites. These concepts of uh, Vriksh Ayurveda, of course, they are hundreds, rather thousands of years ago, they have framed out all these things. But at present, they are in use, they are taught in schools. So it means that our ancestors, they were pretty intelligent about uh, all these things. Vriksha Ayurveda is the science of plants that has its roots in the Vedas. It has countless methods of treating and taking care of plants. So baby, baby,